Today we're going to learn how to do a time counter to show the past of the time in seconds, minutes, hours, etc. All done with geometry nodes. So let's see it. First of all, let's do the camera, the light, because we don't need it, and create a new profile. We're going to start creating a text with a string to curve. Let's connect here. And now we cannot see anything because in a string, remember the word string means text when we work with geometry nodes. So if you want to see something, you need to type something here. For example, text. And now, thanks to this node, it's converting a string, so this in a string, to curve. That's why we can see the word text. I'm going to save this view so we can see better. And if we want to see the text better, we need to add a fill curve. So now the text has a mesh. Now let's enter this text with center and middle. And I'm going to hide the background. Now, we don't want to type a text. We want to control this with a value. So we are going to use value to string. So basically, we have a value, and this value is being converted in a string. That's why now we see a zero. And if we increase this number, this value, we can see that the text changes. So now we have a counter. And we can animate this with keyframes or with the same time. Cool. Now let's control this with an integer. And this will be the main source of the time. So I'm going to write time. This can be seconds, minutes, whatever you want. So the first rule I want to define, because we are working with a time, is that after the number 59, it should appear again 0. It can show 60, 61, etc. So how we can do this? To do this, we need to add a math node and select floor module. So this node basically is to create a loop to repeat a value after a number that we're going to define here. So to show you how it works, I'm going to select 0 and for example 5. So basically right now what I'm saying is when this number reaches 5 values, I start again to 0. So let's check it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as you can see, after five values, because we define the threshold to five, it loops again to zero. So that means every five numbers is looped, as you can see. So now that we know how this works, what we can do is to select 60 to say, hey, when this number, the time, reaches 60, so after this number, it shows zero. So now we have a counter that goes from 0 to 59 all the time. So it's more realistic to show the time. Now we have a problem here. First of all, I'm going to call this, for example, seconds. Can be seconds, minutes, whatever you want. And the problem that we have, as you can see, when we have a real time, a real time counter, a watch, a clock, when the time represents a value between 0 and the number 9, so this one, usually we have a zero in the left, right? After we don't need it because we have already two numbers. But before, we always have a zero. So how we can do that? How we can say, hey, can you show a zero when the number is between zero and nine? So to do this, what we have to do is to create a rule with this value and use greater than. But first of all, we need to join two strings. So let's bring join a string. And let's connect it here. Really important, connect this here. This is to join two different outputs of a string. So coming back here, what I want, remember, my rule is that when this number is between 0 and 9, so let's say it less than 10, add a 0. So let's create a switch here. So let's bring switch. And really important, we need to select a string because we want the output to be connected here. And really important, before this one, not after. So a switch is just a simple boolean that have two results, false or true. So this is a boolean, so we can connect this here. And remember, this is A and B. And how it works. So if A, remember, A always will be this number. So if A, the time, is greater than this number, then 
this is true, so it's going to give this value as a string. If a is not greater than this number, then it's false, so it's going to show this string. So we need to define the threshold. So we're going to select 9. Because what we want is that if a, so the time, is greater than the value 9, then what we want to show in the left? Nothing, because if it's greater, it's perfect, right? For example, now it's greater, right? A is greater than 9. So this is true. So if it's true, we don't want to show anything. You could write something if you want, because now it's true, and we can say, hey, when it's true, write something, so you know how it works. But we are going to leave this empty, because we don't want to show anything. However, when it's not greater, so for example, if this is not greater, 9 is not greater than 9, or a, 3, 4, etc. So this is false, as you can see, because this is not greater than this, so it's false. Then when it's false, yes, add something. What? A zero. So when it's false, add a zero. So thanks to this, right now, when we have a number between 0 and 9, as you can see, we always have a 0 in the left of this number, as you can see right now. And when the number is greater than 9, then we don't have any 0. So we have a more realistic time. So I'm going to write a note here so you can understand better. So as you can see, this is just to add a 0 if seconds, so this, is less than 10. That's all. Perfect. Now let's do the same to represent the other number. For example, minutes, hours, whatever you want. So to do this, first of all, we need to join again two strings. So let's make a copy of this and connect it here and this one here. And what we're going to do is to use a value to a string again and connect it here before. So now it's repeating the number, as you can see. So first of all, we need to add a separation. So here, because now we are joined to path here, we can write this to represent this separation between these two strings, as you can see right now. Okay, so this is working perfectly, but now what we want is that when this number reach 60, here it should add 1, right? So how we can do that? This is really easy. The only thing we have to do is to divide this value by 60. So if we add math and we divide it by 60, then it shows 1, as you can see. Let's check it in 0. It shows 0. And then, as you can see, it's working perfectly. Well, not perfectly, because before reaching 59, it's showing already 1. But don't worry, we're going to solve this. But the main idea is that every 60 numbers add one value. So how we can solve this that before reaching 59, don't show 1? This is really easy. What we have to do is to add another math node and select round. I think it's round. No, sorry, it's floor. So floor basically what it says is don't make the number full until this reach 60. So as you can see right now it works perfectly. When this reach 59 then add 1. Now yes, without this if I mute it it's not working well. So this node only changes the number when it's close to this number. Perfect, we have already this, and the only thing we have to do to finish the tutorial is to repeat again the same pattern to add a zero here if this number is less than 10. So to do this, it's really easy. Let's copy this, shift D, and let's take this number and do the same. By the way, I'm going to change seconds for minutes, and let's call this minutes, 
and what we want is to basically i'm going to disconnect this make a copy of that and let's do the same like before so this here and this here let's do like this and let's connect this here so as you can see this is a copy of that the only difference is that we have a divide and a floor but this is the same don't get confused so right now as you can see it works perfectly because we create the same rule we said hey if this number is greater than nine don't add anything if not if it's false as you can see right now false add zero that's why it's showing zero when this number is not greater than nine but after this it works perfectly so this number could be for example the number of minutes so for example i don't know 60 minutes it's one hour or 60 seconds is one minute and 600 minutes it's 10 hours or 60 hundred seconds it's 10 minutes so this is the main source to control this timer so here you can see the main setup if you want to have a look and if you like this video remember to give a like subscribe and you can draw this project and many more on my patreon and see you in the next video